Welcome back to Code Searcher. I caught this video from Steve at Discovery Mysteries um, this morning about 3 a.m. before I laid down to go to sleep. And um, I just wanted to share this, this little portion of it with you guys because <clears throat> you never know how far uh, your work is going to travel. And uh, when I happened to see this, uh, I was very pleased to find out that uh, Yehuda Gleek had actually seen the table that I discovered um, with his name and the third temple. Now, th in this video that you see of Steve's, Yehuda Gleek is one of those that believes that, uh, you know, it's all the same God, Christian, Jews, Muslim. So you, if you watch this, this uh, video, I'm not endorsing Yehuda Gleek as some, something. If anything, he's um, probably strongly connected to through the man that that will make a scene uh, uh an appearance on the scene um he just happens to be a, you know very strong proponent of the third temple uh he was also um, almost killed an assassin tried to kill him shot him at port, point blank range in the chest um but anyway i happen to find this and you may have seen me post it on facebook uh, but i wanted to share just just small um, excerpt from it on this video. So here we go. You mentioned before. It's the place where Abraham expressed his faith in God. Hmm. It's the place where we and God's waiting for us. They understand the point. Therefore, on the, the hmm. back of the book here, we have a hmm. blessing from a rabbi, from a Muslim leader, and from a Christian pastor. So mm. this, is, this, this, this is the whole concept mm. of this book. The book's trying to say, guys, if you want a guide to the Temple Mount, it's only if you're inclusive of all people in the world. Because God said, my house will be a house of prayer for all nations. Mm. And, and there's everybody who comes to the Temple Mount that's only mine, that's true. true. And, and, and he doesn't understand, understand God's book. Because the word Shalom is God's name. God's name, and that's where the city of Jerusalem is, Yerushalem. Yerushalem, the city of peace, city of God. It's God's name, it's His city. And He wants us all there. He wants us all connected. This is the essence of our life. Even if I live in Indonesia, if I understand that the center of my life is here, this is what the place where God chose to impress the entire world. Hmm. Just a question. I'm, I'm wondering, do you know that your name is in the Bible code? We've got a matrix of a Bible code here. Glick. And of course, this is it. Um, you see Glick up under, his, his name is right up under Rafa Gim, but he didn't, uh, Steve didn't mention that in here. But this is the table. It has his name directly connected to um, the third temple. Uh, with the Jubilee standing vertical, with the year standing vertical. Uh, you can also see down at the bottom, you've got Netanyahu and Obama with uh, judgment right there. And you see the House of Israel. Um, Yehuda runs through there. Jubilee again. Um, and 2016 down there with Elijah. So a lot of end time connections in this one table. Um, he does... Look over at the, um, the table. Uh, he doesn't realize, though, that it's not just in the Torah. This is actually the whole Tanakh. So, um, but yeah, I just uh, I wanted to share this with you guys. Elijah, Jubilee, 2016. I think this is the year. We've got the third temple in Hebrew in Bible code. We've got Judgment, Netanyahu, and Obama. <laughs> I wonder if you have any comment on Obama. <laughs> Everything God creates is something that we can use to promote his name. So, okay, so you're going to be diplomatic, all right. I've known you a controversial question, uh, but so you're saying this is the first time that you're aware that your name is in the Bible. Okay, we, 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 yeah, I think that's, that's pretty interesting that... So he tells him to send it to him so he can take a look at it. And boy, will he be surprised when he sees that it's in the Tanakh, actually. Um, but it is a code. It is a code there. Um, of course, I do not believe that codes are only in the first five books, folks. Uh, 
our father is not only you know bound to the first five books now the first five books is a blueprint of creation but he also spoke through his prophets and through the writings and through david it's all coded so i just want to remind you guys that we're going to be starting classes very soon in bible code study and research i'll be teaching a select few how to use these programs um, keys to the Bible, Code Fighter Millennium Edition, and then Torah Soft, what, what Chris and I use. So if you haven't already, send your application in. Their slots are filling up. Many have come in already. So um, get your application in, guys. You don't want to miss this opportunity to serve um, the Father with this kind of um, ability he's given us to search his word out for those things that are hidden so send in your application go to the bible code excuse me the code searcher.com it's a new site i was about to send you to the old one the code searcher.com and look for the application there uh, and be sure to get on the email mailing list so you can be connected this is a new platform we're going to be operating from We'll be broadcasting there. Our classes will also be there, and it will also be open to the general public or for visits uh, to the site. It's not just for students, so you'll all be able to uh, come over and see the actual progression of these students. Everything that they find will be posted uh, under who, who it was that found it. They will get credit for that, but we will store them all over on one site, so they'll be all in one place for everyone to see so we're really excited about that we'll be able to do things on a larger scale and hopefully get a lot more done so um, be blessed in yeshua's name and have a good day thanks